In all of our topics on public buses, some topics that we might predict what's going to happen next, while some is knowledgeable. A few of our topics involves a learning point. A question from you guys and the answer from the enemy. A talk about theory for bus enthusiasts as an interesting theory point. Welcome to a bus's theory. In this is a piece of a bus's theory, bus planning edition. Dear, we review our prediction of bus socialization over Thomson East Coast Line Stage Four. Two years ago. The MH showcase stage 3 rationalization. As this episode is recording, let's predict which bus service will get cut over Thompson East Coast Line Stage 4. The town stage programs between Bayshaw and Gardens Pada Bay via Sea Club and Marine Parade. In the East Coast sector, a few bus services run parallel to the Thompson East Coast Line between Marine Parade and the CBD. There are also a few surprises of bus services that the MH has selected, and also to the LTA. New Rail Lines does not mean you should remove all bus services providing outlying connections. But then again, you prioritize keeping bus services with long duplicating rail sectors. So, let's showcase these bus services. First stop, Service 36. Although the Thompson East Coast Line extension to Tanah Mega via Changi Airport Terminal 5 comes long way to go, the duplicate sector begins at Sigap Station until Alter Boulevard. However, as Service 36 doesn't stop at the CBD, it is no doubt that residents of Marine Parade will continue to ride Service 36 over Thompson East Coast Line. DME will predict Service 36 over dropping a few bus duties and translating into OTA schedule on weekends as by Singapore law. Next stop, Services 10 and 14. Unlike Service 36, Service 14 duplicates a longer sector between Bertut South and Otter Boulevard we are travelling via the CPD. As for service 10, it follows the same sector as service 14, but travelling via the CPD instead. Two fast forward express variants, services 10E and 14E, likely will be dropped for revenue service and taking the Thompson East Coast Line as an alternative. DME will have thought of amending service 10 into Shenton Way. However, the question lies over East Coast Road which is quite a distance to Sea Club and Marine Parade stations. And now, the biggest upside the MME is bringing, Service 16. Many of you are quite shocked that the MME predicted Service 16 to be part of the top six good sign rationalization. However, as Service 16 duplicates Marine Terrace and Marine Parade, followed by Altered to Havelock. Unfortunately to the LTA, they keep prioritizing bus services with long-haul duplications. Thankfully, some key areas such as Sea Road, East Coast Road, Jutet, and Dakota means a heavy demand for students on weekdays and leisures on weekends. And the final bus service, Service 196. Lucent like Service 196 will be the main bus service for rationalization. Although you have Express 196E, which will be withdrawn a few days later, the bus service demand for Service 196 will drop for good. Who knows if the bus service runs between Clementi and the CBD instead? Today, these four bus services will be categorized as a great danger to the Thompson East Coast Line Stage 4 rationalization in a few years. Do you agree with these predictions? What other bus services do you think will be part of the Thompson East Coast Line rationalization? Before comment down below. Thank you for watching and do join our Discord server. The link is in the description.